Okay, so I welcome you to another video um, on my channel. And today I just want to talk about my five favorite uh, music bands and um, why I like them in a couple of sentences. So the first band that I want to talk about is the Lumineers. And uh, this band uh, basically consists of two people, uh, Wesley Schultz and Jeremiah Freights, and it had a... Uh, Nela Pekarik earlier, but she left it in 2018. Now, this is a band that I got to see live um, here um, in Canada a couple of summers ago, and um, I've really evolved with their music. I love their songs. I feel like the reason I love them so much is that they, they have that folk spirit, but they also tell a beautiful story through their music. Um, they're, they've released um, a couple of albums. Um, their first album was called The Lumineers. Their second album, Cleopatra, was basically like a story about this lady and her going through several different stages of her life and her looking back at the positive times and the, and the hard times and um, sharing her reflections on each phase in her life. And there's a song from that album that I absolutely love, Cleopatra. Their fourth album was called Brightside, and I saw them um, in their Brightside tour. Um, and it was a beautiful venue and uh, definitely one of my favorite live performances. Um, but yeah, I really enjoy uh, their sound. I enjoy how they bring that folk spirit to their music. And um, I've always been a fan of folk music um, because I feel like they incorporate a lot of elements of storytelling. And yep, this is one of my favorite bands. And my favorite songs from their uh, collection are Cleopatra, um, Angela, and Brightside. All right, so the second band that I want to talk about is called Coldplay. Now, Coldplay was formed in 1997. They've released nine studio albums. Their first album called Parachutes came out in 2000. And this is another band I saw live in 2016 um, on their um, Head Full of Dreams tour. Um, I think I love how their music has a sense of optimism. It has a sense of uh, looking at the positive in life. Um, but it's also got a very positive sort of uplifting sound to it. Um, and I think a larger theme of their music is this idea of a collective humanity, is that we may have different beliefs in terms of our religion, politics, but we can come together and celebrate this common human experience of being alive. Um, and looking out for each other because at the end of the day, all of us go through similar human experiences of being born, of, you know, falling in love, of, of maybe losing people we love, um, but also celebrating the moment and appreciating what we have right now. Um, their musical style, um, I think it's a bit of electronica, R&B, classical, progressive rock. Um, I think their story of how they first came together was quite interesting. Uh, all of them were students at University College London um, in September 1996. Um, Chris Martin and Johnny Buckland met during their orientation week. There are four people in this band, um, Chris Martin, Johnny Buckland, uh, Guy Berryman and Will Champion. Um, and here's a story about how they formed uh, their band's name. And it's based on a book by Philip Harkey called Child's Reflections Cold Play. But yeah, some of my favorite songs from their collection are uh, Yellow. Um, a Sky Full of Stars, Clocks. So yeah, those are my favorite songs from their collection. 
The next band that I'd like to talk about is The Local Train. Um, it's a band based from India and uh, it has four people again. Um, they've released two um, albums, uh, Alice Kipid and Wakif. Um, I think uh, this is a this is a very unique sort of Indian band because I feel like they had some really strong writing in their songs and uh, they also have great performance um, a performance side to them and I saw them live again in India um, at a mall actually they were doing uh, an act for Indian Ocean and um, yeah I really really enjoy their song uh, their music um, I feel like they write really well in Hindi and Urdu and um, as someone that's lucky enough to understand the language I really really like how they talk about issues related to um, young uh, related to growing up but also you know touch on topics like uh, politics and religion in a unique creative way now, another band I really like is Codaline. Um, it's an Irish band. Um, they were originally known as 21 Demands. And uh, they've released four albums in a perfect world, Coming Up for Air and Politics of Living. Um, my favorite song by them, hands down, is All I Want. Um, I also like High Hopes. Um, but All I Want is this beautiful song about how um, sometimes you want people to accept you with your flaws um, and uh, that's the kind of love you're always seeking um, there's like a two-part video series on YouTube that I highly recommend you watch I really enjoyed uh, watching it so yeah Codaline is my fourth favorite band and my final band uh, and probably the most uh, popular band in the world is the Beatles um, I think a lot of people identify with them because they were probably the most popular band in the world in the 1960s and they really defined and created pop music in that era but uh, I think their music you know really connected with me on a personal level and you know a lot of people talk about music how do you get introduced to music for me I got introduced to their music in a very haphazard fashion because I'd listen to one song, it would make sense to me at one point, and I'd go and listen to that album. Um, again, they were four friends that, you know, used to study at a university in Liverpool um, in England, and then uh, they got signed up to play in the local band scene in Hamburg in Germany. And uh, that's when they decided to go and you know perform in like residencies for one or two years in Hamburg and that's where they really perfected their art form and then from 1960 to 1970 they released 10 to 11 albums I think 12 studio albums uh, they have four members um, and again great writing and the music is really um, a mix of folk Indian music psychedelia and hard rock and what I'd really recommend with a band like the Beatles is listening to them chronologically, understanding how their music evolved from, you know, the first song to their last album. And there's a lot of uh, uh, beauty in, you know, the way they've named their songs and the way they talk about their music. So this was their first album, Please Please Me, in 1963. And then uh, you have band, like albums like A Hard Day's Night, um, Abbey Road and Let It Be, which was their last album, after which they dissolved as a group. Um, but yeah, these are my five favorite um, bands. And uh, I just wanted to share a short video about uh, these bands. So it's The Lumineers, Coldplay, uh, The Local Train, Codeline and the Beatles.